Now, KTBS 3 News continues. Welcome back on today's Health Watch. We're focusing on leading a healthy lifestyle while on the go. And joining us with some helpful health tips is local registered dietitian and nutritionist Courtney Butts. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> you always have some good advice for us. Well, it seems like in the summertime we're busy, we're on vacation, taking trips, but mm -hmm. how can we stay healthy and, and keep our healthy lifestyle while we're doing all these fun things? Yeah. So a lot of times people ask me, is it okay if I go out to eat? Is it okay if I run through the drive through It absolutely can be a part of a, a balanced lifestyle. It's all about your mindset surrounding it. And so just a couple tips or takeaways for when you're going out to eat or when you're on the go. I always say look for color, so like fruits or vegetables, something that will give you volume, like for coming from fiber, like something like an apple with the skin that will be more filling versus like applesauce or apple juice. Um, so look for those things and then also look for a lean protein source as well. So fiber and protein will keep you full and satisfied. And then also really prioritize your fun foods. So whatever it is, if it's chips and salsa, if it's you know sweets, if you have a sweet tooth, then prioritize those things and make it a normal part of your diet so it's not so overwhelming when you do go out to eat. Mm -hmm. and, and speaking of that, what are some practical tips when you do go out to eat? Yeah, so in addition to prioritizing the color and the protein, you also want to listen to your hunger and fullness cues and try not to skip a meal before you go out to eat. I know that's kind of a tendency or the urge to, well, I'm gonna have a big meal tonight, so I better skip lunch to save room for that meal later on. But a lot of times that backfires because the longer you go without a meal, the higher your hunger hormone is. So that's ghrelin, it's produced in your body, it's produced in your stomach. And so you feel overly hungry, your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Oh, it's, yes. It's hard to really prioritize that portion control because you've skipped those meals. So really listen to your hunger and fullness cues and eat a substantial amount of food earlier in the day so you're not overly hungry and you're able to really be in, in tune with that. What if you do overindulge? Yeah, so if you do ever indulge, I get this question a lot. So <laughs> they're like, Courtney, it's the weekends. I always you know, lose my self-control. And what I would say to you is just resume normal eating on Monday. So instead of restricting on Monday through Friday, you know, by society standards, you're doing good. By the diet cult culture standards, you're doing good during the week. And then on the weekend is when you may have a cheat that turns into a whole weekend affair. So instead of going back to that diet on Monday, really just prioritize the norm, normalizing your fun foods like I was mentioning earlier uh, during the week so it's not so overwhelming on the weekend. But yeah, just resume normal eating. Don't use exercise as a form of punishment. Um, you know, maybe if you did overindulge, now you have extra calories to use towards exercise or feeling, you know, um, with more energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's some good tips. <laughs> <laughs> Something I got to keep in mind because I'm having some cravings for some food. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and if, if anyone was wanting to have like uh, more tips for going out to eat, I have a series on my social media page. Uh, it's called Balanced Options at you know, different restaurants and fast food uh, places. So I'm at Courtney Butts Nutrition on Instagram and Facebook, and I post those once a week. All right, mm -hmm. good deal. I'll go like your page. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, <laughs> Courtney. You're welcome. Thanks. And up next, Rick Rowe is gearing up for the holiday weekend. He's talking with law enforcement ahead of the 4th of July fireworks. Stay with us.